Horror movies exist to help humanity purge our subconscious. We gain a sense of catharsis by witnessing our deepest and darkest fears realized on the screen. Today, on Graveyard Shift Ranked, we are examining the scariest movie moments of all time. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to Graveyard Shift to stay up to date for all your horror needs. <laughs> Released in 2008, The Strangers is a pulsing home invasion movie written and directed by Brian Bertino. The plot centers on a couple who are having a fight when mysterious assailants begin to terrorize their home. In the middle of the movie, Liv Tyler's Kristen is observed by a masked man from the shadows in her kitchen. It's a harrowing and haunting moment that still sticks with movie audiences to this day. It's a perfect replication of the deep-seated fear that we've all experienced at one point or another. Am I really alone, or is someone watching me? The French New Extremes movement from the mid-2000s hasn't necessarily left the cinematic mark that everyone thought it would, but let's be real. Irreversible and high tension are modern-day classics. A slightly deeper cut from this era is the film A l'Intérieur, aka Inside, which follows a pregnant woman attempting to fend off a mysterious stalking during a home invasion. The scene in question features a protracted and extended fight scene on a flight of stairs. We follow the two characters as they are literally fighting to the death. The white knuckle tension in this scene is as horrifying as it is memorable. The practical effects and gruesome reveal is one of the most iconic horror movie scenes ever produced. Steven Spielberg's 1975 horror classic, Jaws, shocked audiences and single-handedly guaranteed that no one would ever look at the ocean the same way again. The film's opening sequence, where a young woman is swimming in open water, is still talked about today. The tension it builds and ratchets up as we circle the prospective victim has left a deep groove on the psyche of America. It's all the more unsettling that we're following her from the POV of the shark. Spielberg's genius is on full display in this scene, and when you combine the creative choices of John Williams' iconic, pulse-pounding score, the scene is propelled into pure, nightmarish, cinematic gold. <laughs> the Descent was the movie that put Neil Marshall on the map. Yes, his first movie, Dog Soldiers, is a great schlocky, let's hunt some werewolves picture, but The Descent is a disturbing classic. The film follows a group of friends who go cave spelunking and then discover roving bands of subterranean dwellers who are hungry for flesh. The final scene in the movie features one of the most claustrophobic and excruciating sequences ever put on film. If you're afraid of small places, being trapped in a cave, or being covered in blood, this might be one you sit out. Stanley Kubrick's classic horror film, The Shining, redefined what horror was. Mouse come out, wherever you are. The iconic performances from Jack Nicholson and Shelley Duvall propelled the film into the cultural zeitgeist in a way that very few films achieve. Here's Johnny! <laughs> However, in the final maze scene that really sticks with people, the lighting, the directing, their manic and frantic energy, this scene is bone chilling, even after all these years. Long prolonged takes are a staple of the horror genre, but none are quite as horrifying as the example on display in The Exorcist 3. A criminally underrated film, The Exorcist is a near-perfect horror movie. Nearly all of its sequels and prequels have had behind-the-scenes drama, which is why most people disregard Exorcist 3 as the classic it truly is. During the film, we spend a solid five minutes watching a nurse go about her business. She wanders from room to room, checking on patients and so on. The eerie removed camera angle adds an unsettling component to the whole thing. And then it happens. One of the most startling jump scares ever put on film. M. Night Shyamalan used to be one of the most exciting and innovative directors in Hollywood. And then he made the Avatar movie. And we all collectively were like, yeah, no more of this guy, please. But if you can cast your mind back to when he was riding high, his film signs rocked everyone's imagination. There's a sequence in the film where an alien life form is caught on grainy videotape. The sequence is reminiscent of the storied Patterson Gimlin film that featured Bigfoot in the 1970s, but distinctly scarier. The five second sequence is still memorable to this day. Up next, another Shyamalan classic, The Sixth Sense. 
The film follows a man and a young boy as they attempt to navigate a series of paranormal happenings. At this point, the big twist of the movie is common knowledge, but we won't spoil that. However, the aspect of the movie that most people have steered into their brains is the scene where a young boy says, come on, I'll show you where my dad keeps his gun, and then turns There have been a legion of imitators of this next film. Arguably, the entire slasher genre are just ripoffs of this movie, and yet, none of them have come anywhere near close to replicating the chills it induces. In the climax of John Carpenter's seminal Halloween, the antagonist Michael Myers has been killed. Until he isn't. It's kind of hard to think of a world before Ridley Scott's Alien. A world before hive sacks, queens, and face huggers. And most importantly, a world before chest busters. <laughs> the xenomorph has been made into plushies, action figures, and hood ornaments. So it's a bit weird to think about just what a huge impact Alien had on the culture. Especially the absolutely soul-wrenching sequence when John Hurt's Kane is impregnated, seemingly recovers, and then has his chest split in two from a serpentine creature bursting out of him. Audiences have never quite recovered. And on that note, like, comment, and subscribe to The Graveyard Shift. Check back next time, if you're brave enough, to find out what otherworldly events we'll chronicle next. 